you guys. Happy Wednesday. It's a minute early, giving you a little time to log in, make sure that I'm connected here. Hold on. There I am. All right. So that's all in a good place. Um, we'll talk about what the news was today. All we know is that the gyms have been given permission to open at uh, limited capacity. That's all we know. We have no other facts and nothing's been, so I don't know yet. We'll find out. I'm sure that uh, Ellen will let us know what's going on, but for right now, we are still here on Facebook Live until we get any other instructions. So, with that being said, let's find our pulse and our wrist or our neck and start counting now. And stop. So there's your beginning number. Uh, if you were running around, again, like a crazy person for the last couple minutes, might be a little high and it should be a little lower when we're all done resting and relaxing. Stella's probably gonna hang out with us. She's all fired up. I can't figure out what's going on. She keeps running the door and barking like somebody's here. Nobody's here. Uh, I don't think I have anything else here. I don't have any announcements that I can think of. I'm sure I'm forgetting things. If anybody thinks, uh, we do know Saturday's class still on for, for Buffalo Harbor State Park. We had some guests this week and that was so awesome. I love seeing the faces. I love seeing all of your faces. So we're still well within our capacity. We're still under 50 people and I don't even know like what the guidelines are for outside anymore, but we are maintaining social distance and we do have our masks on until we are set up. So if you're nervous about coming down, but you wanna check it out, just come on down and look from the car for a minute and then see how you feel. The parking lot's huge, we have plenty of room. Nobody's there for the pavilions yet. Usually there might be a couple people setting up for what's going on, but there's not enough, like the parking spots aren't taken up. So, so all that being said, Stella's down here. She's gonna work out with us. Oh, we're doing a four by four, by the way. Mondays I like to do something that requires a little less thinking from me. That's the way I like it. Step touch. Double step. And a grapevine. Around the world arm. Take it side to side. And 
and reach. Up overhead, reach. Out in front, reach. By your toes, reach. In front. Up high. In front. Down low. In front. Up high. Wide squat, center squat. Pulse it down, little pulse. Hands on your quads, stay here. Round your back, release it. Round your back, release it. Round your back, roll it up, shoulders back. Elbows back, arms back. Great big deep breath. So we know in the four by four, the cardio is built into the workout, so we're not going to go right into cardio. If you don't know how the 4x4 works, one minute exercises. One minute arms, legs, abs, back. Four exercises, one minute each, four minutes, 4x4. Four four. Three rounds of three sets. So 4x4 four by 3x3. Four by three by three. You get it. So, we got about 15 seconds before we take off. So we're going to start with arms. And we're going to start with a bench over row. So come with me. Lean forward and row. So pull it back, bring it down. Slight bend in the knees. Back's nice and flat. Knees are directly over the ankle, so they're not forward. I don't know how they can be back. Somebody will figure it out. But think about running that weight right along the top of the leg and squeezing at the top and coming down. So if you get exhausted, alternate. If you alternate, don't let the shoulders turn. It's here, right at the leg, or it's both. We got 20 seconds. We're going to get three pulses up top. Looks like this. Three, two, one, bring it down. Again. We're going to go to a squat. Give me one more of those. Weight on top of the quad, then squat. Sit down, stand up. So on the squat, pushing back, weight to the heel. So if you want to take your time so you can get lower, take your time. It's not about speed here. We got a whole minute. But if you want to make it more challenging, the weights come down along the sides of the calves, forcing you in a proper position, down the calves and up. We got 30 seconds here, so you can make it. Knees, ankles, knees, up. Knees, ankles, knees, up. Do more like that. Knees, ankles, squeeze at the top. Knees, ankles, knees, squeeze. Come on up top and take it side to side. Side to side. So letting those shoulders pass over the body, not over the feet. Not over the butt, right over the hip. We're going into four pulses. Four, three, two, one. Switch. And switch. And switch. One more like that each side. And switch. Single, side to side, side to side. Weights are just hanging off the fingertips. You're gonna put the weights down. Level one is gonna give me lunges back. So lunges back, or a little faster, or lunge to lunge.
or just lunge back. Make sure you're getting that knee down. If you have neuropathy, you should the flat foot. If you have neuropathy, you can be here. Landing softly. You're halfway there. The tide is high. You're holding on. Here. If you want to give a center, lunge center, lunge center. We got about 10 seconds. You're almost there. Heart rate is up. You remember where we started. Pick up your weights. Lean forward. Row. Pull it back. Right up the tops of the legs. So you're gonna come with me so we can mix it up so we don't get bored. Listen for the change. One right side, one left side, double, double, one right side, one left side, double, double, three pulses back, double, double, all again, double, double, Woo. couple more, Single, finish strong. Draw those elbows back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Coming center, right on top of the quads. Squat, stand up. So squeezing the whole way up. Sit down on the chair, stand up. No, we're not using the chair yet. Next round. Down and up. Now by the sides, right here. Run the waist. You can stay in the squat just like we had them before. On top of the legs. We're gonna make it a little slower, a little more concentrated. Knees, ankles, knees up. Knees, ankles, knees up. Knees, ankles, knees up. So that helps you, again, it helps you forces you into position, proper form. We know form over weight every single time. Stand up, take it side to side. If the weight's so heavy that you're compromising your form, it's not worth it. I'd rather you do light weight and work on form until you get that form perfected. Four pulses, one side, and switch, and switch, and switch, single, side to side, side to side, let those shoulders pass over the center of the body, these are the ones for like ninja moves. Not because you're so quiet when you do them, but they quietly hurt you. We're gonna set the weights down. Level one, lunges back. Level two, lunge center, lunge center. Level three, lunge to lunge. If you wanna do scissor kicks, you can be here too. Whatever works for you, your workout. I want you to come out of this feeling like you've accomplished something and ready to come back on Wednesday. So if you're brand new, stay at level one. Don't overdo it out of the gate. You can have that center. Almost there. 15 to not even, like 10 seconds. Just bring the weights up. Ready, set. Pick the weights up. Lean forward. Pull it back. Nice flat back. Right along the tops of the legs. At the hips, just squeeze the shoulder blades together.
Ready for those pulses? Three pulses back. Three, two, one, come down. Two more like that. One more like that. Right side, left side. Double, double. Single, single. Double, double. Single, single. Double, double. This is it. Now squat it out. Down and up. Press back, stand up. Make sure those knees are not coming forward. You're pushing the door closed with your butt. Now we're going to take it down by the sides of the leg. Again, lift that thumb. Just run down the side of the leg. Down and up. Knees, ankles. Knees, ankles, knees, up. Knees, ankles, knees, up. Oh, this is it for the squats almost. Almost. How about singles? Finish up. Eight, seven, six, five. Watch that form. Four, three. Keep that chin up. Come up side to side. Woo. Finish with those squats. I'm finished with them. Four pulses. Four, three, two, one. Switch. And switch. And switch. Singles right here. Look at Cookie. I know. I know. I'm a little afraid too. One each side. Double on one side. Double on the other side. One single. One single, one double, one double, one single, one single, double, double, single, single. Keep the singles going. Woo. Okay, put it down. Last minute, last minute. And you can be here. Lunge center, lunge center. Watch that landing. Soft. You don't want the whole neighborhood to know that you're working out. The whole house is not shaking. You're landing like a ninja. Keep it going. Woo! I'm going to stay here. You guys can take it to level two, level three. Heart rate's coming up. You got 20 seconds to a water break. And then you get a whole minute. Ten more seconds. Yes, you can. Finish strong. Finish those jumping lunges. Three, two, one. March it out. I'm going to grab a towel. Okay. So you have a whole minute. Get water. Get the breathing under control. We're going to go to some bicep curls. We're going to do one in and one wide. So that's going to be the first move. You still got 30 seconds, so don't worry. Yes, I'm giving you a whole minute. It's hard for me to do it too. But I want you to keep moving around because your heart rate was up. You're not sitting down for that one minute. You're taking the break. Now, if that rotation, you feel any sharp pain, you're just going to come to a plain old bicep curl. You got about five seconds. You remember what I said? One center, one out. Ready? And go. One center, one out. One center, one out. If you want to do one arm at a time, one center, one out. Or two center. Watch that death grip. One center, one out. One center, one out. So if you have an overuse injury, 
I'm not mentioning any names. You know who you are. You can stay front and no weights at all. Or just a weight on that arm that's not bothering you. Or one center, one out. We're going to go to curtsies after this. So your option is to keep the weights. I'm going to keep the weights to start, but if you want to set them down, you're going to set them down now and curtsy. So you're going to face me, use that weight to drop down by the calf, keeping the chest up. If that's too much, make it straight back, but take your time. So it's not like the jumping lunges. Slow or side to side. If you want to put the weights down, weights are down, use that hand, touch the calf. So again, if you have neuropathy, you can still maintain a flat foot and proper form. You don't have to come up on the toes. The toe just lets you get a little bit lower than that curtsy. We're gonna go to standing side crunches. We got a couple more. And you're going to balance. If you want the chair, get the chair. Chill out. Elbow. So, things you want to think about here. I want you to crunch on the side. You're not just lifting the leg. It's not just this. If you don't want to lift the leg, you can be right here. Pull it down. Or you're here. Come in center, crunching in the center. Again, you can hold onto the chair if you need to. Other side, crunch. Pull it down, meet in the center. So again, you can be here. Make sure you feel that, or lift that leg to meet it. Nice and easy, it's not speed. We're gonna jog out and in, out and in. Now you can be here, step out and in, but jog, out and in. Start now, the same foot every time, don't worry. You're gonna start with the other leg. Out wide and in narrow. So you can walk it or you're jogging it, or you're running it. Out and in. Wide, narrow. Switch your lead foot. Right foot every time. Left foot every time. Out and in. Now we're gonna switch it every time. Right foot, left foot. Come on, let's go dancing. Ready? Pick up those weights. How fast did that go? One in, one out. Right grip. Here we go. One in, one out. One in, one out. Nice soft knee. You can alternate. Or you can swing. You can swing. Ooh, that's a little more coordination. One in, one out. I don't know, don't get crazy, Doc. Or right in front. Right in front. Or one in, one out. One in, one out. Don't swing them. So I know I want to dance. So it looks like I'm swinging them. Control, control. So we go into the courtesy. I'm going to start with no weight. Last time I started with a weight. Okay, we're going to put those weights down in the curtsy. Curtsy. Keep that chest up. You want to throw your head forward and look at your foot. Don't do that. Stay here. Right here. Take the time. Again, this one's not about speed. Center, lunge. Center, lunge. Center, lunge. It's that curtsy lunge. 
So you're crossing it over, and then drop that knee just another inch or two. Drop it just another inch or two. You got 30 seconds. No, I'm not kidding. It's like that last minute of the work day. It takes forever. So if you have the weight and you want to keep curling or extending back, you can. It's not stopping you. Your workout. Up center. Balance toe. Crunch. Crunch. Exhale. I keep talking about roller skating. That's what these songs are to me. Roller skating songs. Couple more. Ready? Switch sides. Bend knee to the elbow. And make sure you're crunching. I want you to think. Crunch. Release. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Step in a turn, boy, on. Ready? Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Jog, jog. Or run. So, this just reminds me of certain people. I tell you certain songs. I think that's what music does for us. That's what it does for us. It brings us to our people. Other side. So there might be a song that makes you think of your grandmother, your mother, your cousin, your side, your best friend. This song makes me think of my godmother's daughter. I think it's the other side. Because we used to listen to this together. Pat Benatar. Switch side. Switch. 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 One more. Come center. Pick those weights up. Here we go. You ready? Last set. One in, one out. One in, one out. If you can't be there, center. One at a time. One at a time. Or one in, one out. Watch that gesture up here. You're tired, so you make up by squeezing the weights. Don't do that. Let the weights just sit on top of the hands. Try not to squeeze them. You can do one at a time. Again, not about speed. We got plenty of time to get them done. One in, one out, center, center. One in, one out, center, center. Stay with the in and out if you can. Okay, you can put the weights down if you want to. Into curtsies. Curtsy. Curtsy center, curtsy center. Take the time. This isn't the cardio mode. This is the leg mode. Do you feel that? Gluteus medius, right here. The outside, shrinking it in. We want it to look muscular. We want a little pop in the back, right? A little bit of booty. Yes, guys, you want a booty too. It's okay. A couple more. One more each side. Come center, arm up, and crunch. Elbow to knee. Exhale, inhale. We're here. Get that leg planted on the ground. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to get you hurting. 
there's a difference. But we're going to talk ourselves out of that. Other side. Your brain or your body will believe what your brain feeds in. So if you tell your body you can't do it, you make that your reality. So we always start with, I'm going to give this a try. I got this. Be in control. Be in charge of your own destiny. Ready? Out, out, and in. Last minute. Out, out, and in. Out, out, and in. Nice and soft. Nice little boxer. Float like a butterfly. Switch legs. Sing like a bee. You know I had to finish that. Switch legs. Switch legs. Now switch every time. Thirty seconds, finish line. We got a whole minute coming up. Whole minute. That's the one foot. Now the other foot. Now switch every time. Finish line. This is it for real. For real. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. March it out. Ooh, deep breath. Let the arms come out wide. Turn around behind you. Pull it back. Keep the march. So we got one more round, right? Ooh. So we're going to get the chair out for the last round. So get your chair. So we're going to start with tricep extensions. So before we sit down, we're going to do the tricep extension. I'm going to turn sideways. We still got 25 seconds. Keep getting your drinks. So tricep extensions are up and extend back. I'm going to change to the lighter weight because it's tighter. And I don't want to show you with poor form. So again, you can use lighter weights. You can use the same weight. But the elbows are back. The weight starting in your hips and all that moves are your elbows. Come with me. Ready, set, go. Extend. Extend. So now I can face you. My feet are right up against the back of that chair. I got a better idea for what we're going to do next. Are we ready to alternate? Right side, left side. Right side. Left side, double, double, do it again. Right side, left side, both sides. Right side, left side. Right side, left side, double, double. One more time like that, right side, left side. Double, double. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put those weights down. We're going to put the weight side on the chair sideways. And you're going to pull one leg up. You can cross it. You're going to squat. One leg is squat. So whatever side works for you. Or, your legs here, just make sure that knee does not come forward. Standing comes back. So I'm going to go sideways. We're going to make sure my form looks good. Sit down. Come on up. Sit down. Or cross the leg over. That helps you a little bit. Forces you a little bit more into proper form. Ready, set. Which leg? Sit down, stand up. Sit down, stand up. If you can do this without the chair, do it without the chair. But just make sure that that knee is not coming forward. It's not passing over the toes. You're pushing the fanny back. Now you're going to sit down on the chair. One knee. One knee. Double. Double. Here we go. One knee. Other knee. Double. Double. Keep it going. Now you can sit straight up. You can be here. If you want to get a weight, you 
can be double double the whole time. If you want to do one up, one out. Down, in, out, in. That's a little bit of a challenge for me, so I'm going to stay here. We got about 20 seconds. One side, other side. Double, double. One more time. Double, double. We're going to come up in the skipping so we know the deal. So it's two knees, level one, while you're skipping it out. You make me feel like skipping. And you also know you can move around your room. Some forward, some back. Some forward, and back. You can be here, double knee. Or get that little pop.
final round of our final set. Finish line. We can see it.
in a regular year since May. The beginning of June, I think, is the Hellenic Festival. And we keep from the Hellenic Festival all the way through to the fair. All the way through to Wing Fest. March, March. Stay alive. We're going to swing the body with the toe tap. Bring that arm across the body. Nice big swing. So we should all be good, right? We all didn't gain five pounds from all the fair food. March, march. Roll those shoulders back. Roll the elbows back. Roll the arms back. How about bring one arm up? Let it rest right between the shoulder blades. Let's try to decide what we should do. Kind of have a couple minutes. Other side. So you said we should do a plank because of a, a plank. Okay. So if you can't plank, you can crunch. Well, we're gonna try and hold the plank for a minute. We'll work our way up there, don't worry. Put the mat down. We're going to come down to the floor. So again, if you can't crunch because of neck issues, wrist issues, elbow issues, whatever your actual physical ailment is, and not just because you don't like playing, you can crunch. Go body rain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, plank, modify your down on your elbows. So if you're on your elbows, your shoulders are directly over your elbows and you're here. So it's not here or here, it's right here. Otherwise, you're on your hands, same thing. Hands are directly underneath the shoulders and you're here. So it's not here and it's not here. It's not here, and it's not here. It's here. I'm going to turn around so I can see the clock. Ready, set, plank. Get it up there. Nice and straight. So this is really hard to make foot today. You don't have to do one footed, one legged. I'm going to pull my knees down because I, again, I'm having a hard time with my feet today. And push back to child pose. Okay, so now we're going to try plank to pike. But again, you can be on your elbows. So I'm going to show you. If you're on your elbows, it's plank to pike to plank. I'm going to be on my hands. Ready, set, come up to plank. Now pike, now plank, now pike, now plank, now pike, plank, pike, and plank. Hold it here. Ten. One, come on down. Okay, that's good. I'm going to change the music. We're going to stretch. So you guys stay right here. Tabletop. Okay, hold on. Here we go. So we're in tabletop. You're going to cat stretch the back. Stretch the back and release it. Press back to child's pose. Bring that fanny all the way back to the heels. 
Press the palms out in front of you. Bring the chest down to the tops of the legs. And take a couple deep breaths. You're going to take one arm, lace it underneath the other arm. Palm to ceiling, drop the shoulder into the mat. Couple deep breaths. And center, other side. And center, come to tabletop. I want your toes down on the floor, your heels are up. Walk the hands back. Put one hand on one heel, another hand on the other heel, and press the pelvis forward. Lift the chin to the ceiling. Let the head drop back. And release that. One foot comes forward. Press down into that. That toe is on the floor. Knuckles are into the mat. Lift the knee off the floor. Swing it around. And lie it down. Bring the knees to the chest. A little gentle rock side to side. Bring both knees to one side, arms to the other. center, take it the other way. And center. Bottom of the feet together. Use the elbows to push the knees out. Grab the outside of the shoe. Pull the knees back. What? You disagree? Disapprove? She disapproves. And release them, walk it out. Let the arms drop down by your side. Close your eyes. And give me a couple nice deep breaths. This is where we go to our happy place. So I want you to think about the place that you feel the calmest. I'm so sorry. time you inhale, you feel the chest rise to the ceiling. Every time you exhale, the belly button drops all the way through the body and down to the floor. While you focus on that breathing, release the tension in the neck and the shoulders. Release the tension in the jaw. Feel that spine melt into the mat. Feel the hips melt into the mat. Down the backs of the legs. And the feet drop out. Breath in. On the exhale, open the eyes. Give the fingers a little wiggle. 
I've been wiggling my fingers so I can't push that one. Deep breath in, right knee to the chest, hold it there, exhale. Deep breath out, Tony comes up to meet it, exhale. Deep breath in, rock the body up, come to straddle stretch. So if you have your towel and you want to use your towel, you put it under the bottom of your shoe, help you pull your chest down to the leg. Or grab that shoe. So again, just for a little extra stretch, you can wrap that towel around the shoe. Bring it over to the other side, same thing. I wore these sneakers to run for the first time today and I don't know if they're going to work for running. Not with all of my feet issues. One hand on each foot. They're fine for this, but my toes hurt today. that I'm nice and clear. I don't run. I jog. I see people whew, smoke me every morning. Foot to the inner thigh, reach for the toes. It's fine. I'm not a sprinter. Life is not about sprinting. It's about stamina. So yes, yeah, sprinters can also have stamina. Usually, usually they do. Knee up and over. just better athletes than I am. Yet we are all still athletes, right? We remember that. We haven't lost touch with the fact that we are athletes. Let's go. Got to get in touch with our inner athlete. Wake her up. Shake her by the shoulders. Our game's not over yet. The best thing we can possibly be doing for our immune system is eating the right things and exercising. Those are things we can control, foot up and over. Even though some days it doesn't feel like we can, yes, we can control that. That doesn't mean that we can't have something that's maybe not so healthy once in a while, but it shouldn't be that something that we're having every single day down under our hip, especially right now, especially when we're trying to make our bodies as strong as possible. So if anything does come our way, we're ready to take it on. Come center. Okay, so we're going to cross your feet, bring your feet up together. You can come up here. Come on, find your pulse and your wrist or your neck and start counting now. And stop. So compare that to your number from earlier. You should be a beat, maybe too lower. I know we were all excited about the news from earlier. We got news, but we didn't get a lot of news. So right now, still status quo. When you're on a need to know basis, as soon as I know, you'll know. I don't know nothing now either. So we'll learn together. We're gonna come up from the floor. So your head's the last thing to come up, feet are wide. And roll it up. Shoulders back, elbows back. What's the matter? Arms back. Take a big deep breath. Reach and pull to one side. You did a lot of core. So we have to remember when we do all those obliques, all that oblique work, sometimes it feels like you're feeling it in your back because you're feeling it here. Those are your abs. And release. We're going to come forward and hinge. Double stir the pot. And the other way. And a great big deep breath center. Exhale, release, and one more time, deep breath. I'm so glad you guys joined me again on another beautiful Monday night. Couldn't have been outside anyway. So we were here together. Have a great night. I will see you here on Wednesday.